Got him. That is a decent bluegill. Or is that a bass? No, that's a massive bluegill. All right, y'all, it is a beautiful morning here in Northeast Tennessee. And we have finally gotten some time to get out here and do a little fishing for you. And I'm going to go after him today. We're going to see, we're throwing the rooster tail. Let's see if anything wants to eat this morning. There we go. That is a bluegill, y'all, on the rooster tail. At least that's the way it's fighting. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice gill. There we go, guys. We will be keeping that one. All right. There's the first one of the day. All I'm doing, guys, is I'm working the edge of these weeds. This is where the bluegill are gonna wanna be sitting. They're gonna feed on the bugs. Anything else that comes off of that. And it, oh, there we go. And it also gives them protection from the bigger bass that might be trying to eat them. That feels like another good bluegill, y'all. Oh yeah. That'd be keeper number two for the day. Another beautiful, that's a female right there. Take a look at that one. Look at those beautiful colors. Very nice. What I was saying earlier is if you're gonna do this or any type of fishing with treble hooks, you gotta have a set of pliers in your back pocket. The point is to catch the fish and not to catch yourself. All right, y'all, let's talk about our setup. Whether you're an advanced fisherman or you're just a beginner, this is an ultralight pole, six foot six. This one just happens to be an ugly stick light pro. With the Fluger present reel, I got some simple four pound test line here and we are throwing a rooster tail and I have a barrel swivel on there or a snap swivel and that's so I don't get any line twist. And this is still one of the funnest and best ways to fish, especially in the summer. Okay, that's two. Let's see if we can get a third one. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go, right at the bank. Yep, got ourselves a little bass there. Very nice. There we go, y'all. Rooster tail is crushing it and getting the job done. Beautiful bass, look at that one. Very nice. There we go. Big bass. Not big bass, but a decent bass. All right, y'all. Rooster tail is getting the job done. Nice. All right. Nice. Guys, if you've never fished or you don't have a lot of fishing experience, if you're going to break down a pond, you're just looking for these weed edges around the banks. That's where the fish are going to be trying to find food. And your bluegill that spawn multiple times during the summer, well, they're going to be on bed. And your bigger fish that are going to want to eat those fry are going to be cruising through that area looking to get an easy, an easy meal. Got them. That is a decent bluegill. Or is that a bass? No, that's a massive bluegill. And it had a bass chasing it. Look at that, guys. Look at the beauty of that fish right there. This is a big bull. Or a male. Absolutely beautiful, guys. This is one of the fun, 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 funnest ways to fish. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. If you're not fishing, y'all, you got to get out and try it. You just got to get out and start. If you have any questions or any ways that you want to see how to fish, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to do a video for you. Whatever that specific method is that you want to see. Absolutely beautiful. So what I typically do is I'll cast in and I'll just start reeling right off the bat. Kind of keeping it shallow. So I did get a swipe. So we're going to go back into a similar area. There we go. There's a nice fish. Let's get it out of the weeds. Good Lord. Look at that. Nice guys. Right off the bat. We are having so much fun. Rooster tail fishing. Beautiful. All right, y'all. We are moving to another location to show you that this isn't just one spot that it's effective in. Let's make our way down through here. Woo. 
it rained most of the night last night which was a nice relief because we hadn't had rain in a long time Let's see if we got anything big hiding back here right off the bat y'all as soon as we throw it in nice look at that first cast that is going to be a nice fish oh yeah that is a nice fish ran all the way up here to the bank that is a massive bull look at that that is what i'm talking about yes sir wow y'all that might won't be one of the biggest bluegills i've ever caught in my life all right, y'all, take a look at that one. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful colors. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the reason I'm choosing this part of the pond is this back part of it feeds is where the water feeds into it. So typically in areas like that, you will have a high concentration of fish as they're feeding of what's flowing into the pond. Very hard to beat a rooster tail, y'all. When I first throw it, I just let it fall, and sometimes they'll hit it on the fall. And then I slowly just start reeling it back. And the other great part with the rooster tail is you could change up the cadence. So what that means is you could change up the rhythm or the tempo that you're fishing it and see what the fish are reacted to the best. If you're fishing slow and it feels like you're getting bit, but they're not setting, you're not get, getting a good hit, that means you're going too slow. There we go, right at the bank. There's another one. Beautiful. All right, check that out. Take a look at this one. Be beautiful colors on this one. All right. Very nice. Look at that. But as I was saying, if you're going slow and you feel like you're getting bit and you're not setting the hook, you're, that means you're, you need to speed up your cadence, in my opinion. Let's wear these out while we can. Like I said, I'm counting down to five. I'd say I'm doing a slow to medium retrieve right now. Trying not to get it through the strike zone too quickly. I want them to see it and react to it without hesitation. But I also want them just not to see it come flying through there and then we missed out. There we go. <laughs> that, y'all, is one of the smallest bass you'll ever see me catch. Beautiful. So let's talk about how to work a pond. When I first come out, I'm looking for laydowns, uh, standing timber, some type of either point or bluff or shelf. Um, like here at the back of the pond where it feeds in. I'm looking for points where I think the fish would be staying and there could be a high concentration of them. Once I've decided that, I will go work the area that's the most desirable and I will do that in a fan casting motion. So what that means is just like it says, I will start either to my left and work my way right, or start to my right, and work my way left. And almost as if a fan blade is turning or a clock. And I'm gonna see what's available and see if there's anything in here that wants anything that I have. But this is a bait y'all that absolutely crushes it. The other great thing about this, guys, this is a great search bait. There we go. That's what I was looking for, a little aggressive bass. Cool. Just flipped it in there on that lay down. Let's see if anything was going to chase it out. Sure enough. Got myself a little aggressive bass here. Cool. All right, beautiful. I like checking around these banks, y'all, because typically you could have a bass or bluegill that's either cruising them or they could even be spawning. There we go. Just like I said, a little bass hanging around the bank. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. That's another one. Look at the colors on that one. Good young bass. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, guys, so we're going to move to another pond. Let's keep this going. Once again, guys, new pond, same method, especially if you're learning to fish, fan cast method. 
Work your banks. Just take your time. There we go. All right, y'all. Another beautiful bass on the rooster tail. That's what I'm talking about. It's very effective. Let's take a look at that one. Nice. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a nice bluegill, y'all. Beautiful. There we go. Another nice one. Let that one go out and get bigger. Beautiful. Be dangerous sometimes, guys, but sometimes I like to bring it right down the edge of a bank like this. You never know. There we go. And that's why I like to do it. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Bass are just hanging right on that edge. Okay. Got our treble hook out. Beautiful. Another bass. Oh, there we go. Another bass. Guys, I'm just telling you, rooster tails, if you just want to go out and have fun and just fish, that's how you do it. Once again, guys, I'm just fan casting this cove of this pond here. Trying to see if I'm missing anything at all. Because you never know what those fish are tucked in on. Or if they're just suspended. They might be a little bit farther out. So just keep working your way around it. Changing your depth by just counting down. Try to pay attention to what bit, where it bit at. Oh, what is that? Is that a bluegill or a bass? Another bass. They are stacked in this little area, probably feeding. Yep. Beautiful. There we go. What is that? Got another bass. The bass are loving the rooster tail, y'all. All right. Another young, beautiful one. Look at that. Very nice. For those of you who don't want to use live bait, and this is what you want to do, when you could get away with the early spring sometimes morning and evenings of the summer and uh late fall yep this is the way to do it guys you don't have to spend a lot of money if you want to get out and begin become a beginner fisherman fisherwoman fisher person whatever you want to call it all everything i'm throwing right now came from walmart so and i'm saying under 100 bucks easily probably under 70 so just get out and go fishing. That is the main thing. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick video on how to get some simple tackle anywhere. Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. Well under a hundred bucks and be able to get out and go fishing right now. No live bait needed, nothing hard, ultralight pole, simple reel, four pound test line, and good old fashioned rooster tail. No matter what, get outside, go fishing, have fun, and we'll see you on the next cast.